What is up, Hooman Squad? Kai here. Amber. Please ignore the um the sound of a fan in the background. It's really hot here in Florida. It's like it's not just hot, it's the humidity because We haven't had rain for over two weeks. Or approximately. Or we like had rain, but it was only like a sprinkle and a bypass. Like it didn't happen for a while. So the humidity's been really high. So it's been really hot here. My air conditioner isn't the powerfulest, so I have to have a fan to help boost the air to circulate around the house. Yeah, kind of get the idea, right? How's everybody self-quarantine going? If you could kind of see right there, that's a whole bunch of bags of food. I I just got back from shopping today. More videos. The bird's been very... He's been very needy lately. I know Jackie, aka Nerdy Crafter, I follow her by the way, I am a green. She has like a million subscribers. Congratulations Jackie for a million subscribers. Her bird's also been needy. She has a very cool parrot named Angel. He is funny and I love him. We also kind of talk on Twitter sometimes. I, uh, yeah. So, this is another story time with Kai. How do I remember where we left off? I just rewatched the video. Oh my god. My. <laughs> I can't watch that video anymore. I was so distracted while watching it. So we left off after first grade. Well, kindergarten and first grade, somewhere around there to where we go from the public middle, the public elementary school to the smaller little, kind, smaller school that just opened, meaning in this time frame. So we're second grade Kai. This is where all the crap starts. Not the real crap, ugh. I'm still, I want to not continue. I don't want to do second grade. I really kind of want to do my sixth grade life to at least the beginning of high school because right when it hits seventh grade, the end of seventh grade between seventh and eighth is where it gets really bad. And I think you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I kept the, you know, first episode, I kept saying, I don't want to talk about it because it hurts me. I'm getting a little more confident about it. I'm a little more open now about it. I won't explain in full details, but this is a disclaimer for every single episode. I'm gonna point this out. This will talk about abuse. This will talk about um, bullying and depression and suicide thoughts and stuff because I did have those back then. This will talk about hospitalization. This will talk about arrests, mostly to go to a hospital. Now, I have never been to jail yet. Um, where's the nearest thing of wood? The lamp next door is made of wood, <laughs> literally. So it was only to get by the cops to a bake rack facility. This, this is just a disclaimer. So if you are not comfortable with this kind of stuff, get off this video that is it i am really letting you guys know big time because this is not good for people who have problems and i can accidentally make it worse <laughs> so and the reason i'm leaning closer is because i know my mic is good but it's also picking up the fan that's literally right there by my air conditioner so yeah i gotta lean back my back is hurting so Hmm, do I go from second grade to sixth grade or do I just go from straight to sixth grade? I mean, I can give you guys all my middle, all my, the rest of my elementary school in a nutshell. It's, it was, eh. We had, um, hmm. I don't even remember the first principal of second grade. The principal of second grade only was there for a year. So all I knew the whole, my whole second grade year, that's, they, they were there. And then we got a new principal and he was really nice. He was there for two years. And then he got accepted into another school, so then he left because they were paying just like a little more and they don't bother me. Uh, so then we got a new principal and then she was originally like a kindergarten teacher. She was really bad. She, it also started that around my third and fourth grade years when I started to get really bullied and really, really trying to stay in frame. Cause I'm leaning this way. Why don't I just lean over this way? Yes. So, yeah. 
the beginning of my, uh, you know, before middle school is where my bullying started. So I was already a depressed kid. Around third grade, my mother started to worry about me because I would be having mood swings where I could be really, really happy. And then the second someone upsets me, I'll be super depressed and don't want to talk to anyone. She didn't like that. Sorry, my nose has been draining because of allergies. Blame the no rain and all the frickin' pollen baking in the sun. When pollen gets hot, it bakes in the sun and then it gets more potent and then it kills me. Oh my God, my eyes have been burning all morning. I literally had to take a second allergy pill this morning. Well, it's actually more of a sign. I have three allergy pills, guys. I have one for when it gets super bad emergencies where I can't breathe or something. I have one for when I take it every single night before I go to bed because that's where I can't breathe all the time. The third one is for like if my sinuses get really bad. I'm good right now. <laughs> Thank you for asking though. So I'm trying to, we were talking about the principal, the bullying started, it was really bad. Um, I was, it, it got bad to where the kids actually physically did hit, hurt me. Like I was sitting, I was sitting across the table from one of the bully kids we were forced to, so it didn't you know bother me as much. So I was sitting there and they were sitting there and I guess I was leaning too much to where I was leaning onto the table to where I was slowly pushing it towards him. I, I, I was just leaning on it, you know, doing my work. And he decides to shove it. And I was short enough to where it hit me in my chest. Now, I was at the time where I did slowly start hitting puberty a very slightly. I hit puberty super late guys. I really did actually. But this is the part where my breasts started to grow. So they were hurting as they were growing. So everything that hit it made it hurt. Like, a, yeah. Us females would understand. So yes. So that hit my chest. <laughs> so it hurt. And I, and of course the teacher didn't see it. Didn't see it. So I went, so I, you know, yelped in pain. <laughs> and I was crying and I put my head on the table because I literally went like this. Like I, I put forward because it was hurting so much. So the teacher kept saying, you're not in pain, come on. So the teacher was a complete butthead. Yeah, he's a complete butthead. I'm trying not to curse. But I and I don't mind not cursing. I just know the certain words you can't put on YouTube without getting demonetized. Yeah. I look up the rules a lot, just to make sure. So, teacher didn't care. He was actually a really rude teacher. I did not like him. At first I loved him until he started to treat me differently. Um, so, fourth grade came around. Was not also a good year. I was also at the school from second to fifth grade and it did go up to eighth grade, but my mother said, no, you're going to the public middle school. We are tired of how these teachers are treating you. We're tired of how the principal is. And you all wonder what the heck, what happened to Kai's relationship with his mother? That happens in seventh grade. Pretty much. So third grade again, we're going back to third grade. My mother saw the mood swings happening a lot more rapidly, so she took me into see a psychiatrist. I have a genetic history, a family history, whatever you want to call it, of bipolar disorder. I've been on, on psychiatric meds since third grade. I think it was third grade or I think it was fourth. It was really, it was around then. So I've been on psychiatric meds for a couple years. Pretty much my entire life. I've seen some people be put on it the second, you know, literally. So I felt stupid. You're put on psychiatric meds. You feel stupid. You feel dumb. You feel different. Back then when I was with I, and me in elementary school, I wanted to be like everybody else. I wanted to be the cool kid. I wanted to be, I didn't care about, I, I didn't want to be different. So 
Yeah. That happens. So in fourth grade, I was still bullied. Same kids. Because it was one of those schools where it was small enough to where you would get the same group of kids in each of your classes. Like, in every grade, you would get the same chunk of kids. And sometimes they would leave, sometimes some of the kids would be gone in a different school. And sometimes you get some new kids. So it was a little, it, you would still get the same group of kids. And I had most of these kids since second grade. And they knew me in the bad way. So my fourth grade, I had two fourth grade teachers, the same one in third grade. And then I had another fourth grade teacher because we had a lot of fourth graders. We had to split them up into two groups, 4A and 4B, you know, that kind of stuff. So my homeroom, who was technically the leader of 4A, was my English teacher. She was super nice. She was very strict, but she really did care about me. One day I was telling, I wanted to, it was the, one of those days where we had to eat lunch inside because um, I think they were redoing the bathroom in the, uh, in the lunchroom. And they were redoing both bathrooms because one of the, I think something broke in there. I don't know, but we had to eat and we were not, we were allowed to eat in the lunchroom, but we couldn't use the bathroom. <laughs> so our teachers were like, let's just eat in the classroom. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not, we're not going to deal with all that. Plus also the lunchroom doesn't just have, you know, one, one grade. It has like many, it probably would have like all, all the elementary kids in one room. So picturing a broken bath, two broken bathrooms and a crap ton of elementary kids. Yeah, there's probably like 40 kids in the, in the cafeteria and there's no bathroom. Yeah. My teachers were smart. <laughs> they were smart. We did have a bathroom in our building. Anyway, so at least, at least we were able to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. So, I know I keep scratching my nose in area because it's itchy. My allergies make my nose tingly and make me feel like I'm going to sneeze all the time, but then it never happens. Yeah. And if you do hear me cough, it's not the coronavirus. There's another problem with my allergies. It makes my throat super dry really fast. That's why you see me drink a crap ton of water. Well, I got to refill this thing. And my famous turtle cup. I'm not Visco. <laughs> I've gotten so many people asking me if I'm uh, calling me a Visco because I like turtles. Actually, speaking of this, we're actually in the time frame where I started liking turtles. Fourth grade. For Valentine's Day, my mother got, my parents, I don't know who exactly was, got me a stuffed turtle and I fell in love. Actually, I think I still have that stuffed turtle. It's not Bubbles. Bubbles I got in the sixth grade. Bubbles I got when I was 11. I think I was in the, no, it was the summer of sixth grade, meaning I was going into sixth grade next, in the, yeah. You get that. So, I fell in love with turtles in the fourth grade. Long before Visco came alive. Hey, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the plastic straw. You know, I, I don't use straws, period. The only time I would ever use a straw is if I'm drinking something with ice in the water because I have sensitive teeth. Every other thing I'll drink out of, I'll drink it with no straw. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> if you give me a glass of something with ice in it, I will have to drink it out of a straw to protect my teeth from hurting. That's all the reason I'm gonna drink out of a straw. If you give me a water with no ice, bam, I'll drink it. No straw. It's just to protect my teeth, it hurts. I'm very, uh, my gums are really sensitive. So, back to the thing. I told you literally about a couple of minutes ago that I had a really bad third grade teacher. I had two bad third grade teachers. One of them left, thank God. She was abusive. She was really bad. I'm so glad she left. She was just one of the bad ones. I had, a, in third grade, I swapped from four different teachers because we were, they were a little short staffed for teachers. So, you know, they had to swap between different, you know, so it was, a lot of people had a lot of different teachers. 
So, fourth grade, I get the same teacher I had last year, which I told you was one of the bad ones. It's a, this one's a guy. Uh, I really want to say his name because he his name was very hard to pronounce. It was a Greek name, but we called him Mr. T. Now, for all you people that actually know who Mr. T is, no, it's not Mr. T. It's a different Mr. T. He was a older guy. Yeah, it, it didn't bother me. I had a lot of older teachers. They were really nice. But he, for some strange reason, he hated me. Like, and I'm not being dramatic. I will tell you this. I'm telling you the complete truth. I'm not making any of this stuff up. I will, though, will say some things that I've learned on the past about me that I've learned recently, which is really bad. So, trying to think. Trying to, it, 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 this whole story of this Mr. T was really, it still upsets me, makes me angry because of how ridiculous he did. He was, he was really nice to everybody and just, he, I was really good in math. Okay, I was a great student in math. Now, I know some people have talked about their really bad teachers. I was watching an animation channel. I kind of watch those because they're really cool and I kind of love that kind of stuff, like animation, movies, films, whatever. So, I was watching this animation one. Yes, I'm going a little off topic, but I can relate, meaning, to this scene. She was, it was the end of her year in college. And towards the end of the year, the teacher said, you can correct some of your work to see if your grade goes higher. Well, she had, I think she said she had a B, and then it went down to a C at the end of the year when they got all the paperwork back. So it went down a grade. That happened to me too. Now, what we do is if we didn't, if, if any homework we didn't do, the teacher would give to us at the, uh, towards I think it's the last two months of school during our uh, end of course exams, which we called FCAT back then. Florida Comprehend, Florida something association test. I keep forgetting what the C stands for, but he would give that to us around FCAT time so we can bump the heck out of our grades if we wanted to. I did whatever I couldn't do because either I was on vacation or I, I missed school because of a doctor's appointment or I missed that class meeting because you would be like, hey, what, what was the homework? None of the, none of the other students wanted to give it to you. Like, it was really bad and you would ask the teacher and be like, oh, you just missed it. Uh, you can make it up some other day. Okay? So, that happens. I did all the ones I missed. I had, I think, like a C or something. So, I wasn't like, the only reason I had a C was because of the missing homework. That, that's actually logical. So I did all the homework and I think it was like a really high C because I, my mom could see, my mother could see it actually online and exactly the exact thing. So it was, I think it was a high C. We had to take it, I, I missed one of the homework tests. Like it was a test to see what we did to prepare us for the next test. And I aced that test even without doing that homework. So it was fine. But I did that practice test, which was our homework. And I didn't do too well because, of course, it was like really far in the, you know, towards the beginning of the year. I forgot what we did. It's logical. So we got our report cards back and I got a D. I went up to him. He's a very, by the way, he's very, he was very rude. I got a D. And I said, why do I have a D? He said, you earned it. I said, but I did all the homework. He's like, you failed the homework. You turned it in so late. So I'm like, what? I know I turned it in late. You guys let us make up all the work to be able to bump up our grade. So I'm confused. I'm like, I did it because you guys let us. He's like, you got F's on all of them. You're lucky you got a D. So we get all our, our work back you know, at the end of the year, like all our work, like the, the teachers give us the file folder while our work and smacks it on our desk and says, get, go have it. You know, take it home, show your parents, do whatever you want with it, burn it, <laughs> whatever. So my mother and I went through it because she was like, why'd you get a D? So what ended up happening is we were going through it. The homework was never graded. 
There was no checks, no nothing. And we were happy that it wasn't the full end of the year. It was probably like the last three weeks. So my mother went back to the school. Now I'm gonna let you know, this is the year that we had the kindergarten principal person who was originally a kindergarten teacher. So she was a little, oh, that's so, you wanna go to, you wanna have a timeout or something? Like she was really bad. I had another teacher just like this in the, in the 12th grade. She was originally an elementary school teacher. I hate that. So, I have nothing against elementary school teachers, but if you go straight from elementary school to high school or something, you know, where you have older kids, it gets on my nerves. I hate being treated like a kid. I hate being treated, unless I have that humor, unless I'm in a joking mood, I don't mind being treated like a kid, but I hate it when I'm being treated like a kid and I'm being, trying to be serious. That will get on my nerves. So my mom was trying to be serious with her and she was all looking at me making sure I'm okay. And it's like, I'm fine. I just, well, I'm just curious as much as my mother is. So what she ended up doing was taking out all my grades and changing them all to what they were before I did all the homework. So I got back up to a C. Didn't bother me, I passed. Now, this is another story going with the same teacher. This was kind of towards before winter break, I think, or somewhere like in the middle of the year. We had another math test. He handed out all the tests. He said, you can retake it if you want, if you got a certain grade or lower. I got that certain grade or lower because I didn't pay attention. He was also very not informative enough. Mostly what he would do if we were asking questions, he wouldn't care. He would not care at all. Like he was a horrible teacher in general. So he says, who wants to retake the test? You would raise your hand. I raised my hand. He gave back a test, everybody except for me. I said I wanted to retake the test. I got a, a C. <laughs> A C minus. He was very specific with the grades. So he was like, you passed. You got that certain grade or lower. You don't have to retake it. I'm like, I want to get a higher grade. So he got up, he got upset with me. Went up to the front of the room, because I was sitting more towards the back, asked the whole class, raise their hand if you don't want her retaking the test. Everybody he asked the whole class if I should retake the test or not. What the fudge? Seriously. He asked the whole class, who pretty much everybody did not like me except for like three people in that class, if I should retake the test or not. That should be a question for me only because it's my grade, not everybody else's. So I told my mother again, because back then my mother and I had a really great bond. She was very defensive. My mother almost got him fired. He was literally on, about to cross the line with the district because my mother was really pissed. She literally went to, had a district meeting with that teacher too, Mr. T. He got upset with me the next day and says, you don't need to go, you don't have to have your mother involved. I was just asking the class. And I was like, you don't need to ask the class. So I got transferred to another math class. Now it was more of a one-on-one. -on -one. We did have extra teachers now, so I was able to have a one-on-one -on -one math class. And that, that didn't bother me at all. This also happened in fifth grade as well. I had another, I more had the more of the bullying side than a bad teacher side. It was the, the only bad teacher side was towards the beginning of the year. And then we got a new teacher. I think she left because something, you know, family problems and I don't care. It's just whoever, whoever came back was a really nice guy, but he didn't really care. When I tried to tell him, hey, these people are being mean to me, he was like, oh, I'll talk to them. And then he would just go say, stop, stop bothering them and walk away. Like not say, if you don't stop bothering them, you know, you'll get a referral. Like he'll, he didn't warn them saying, you know, this is bad, you're not supposed to do this. He would just go, stop bothering them and walk away. Like, I know teachers can do more than that. <laughs> And don't worry, I, my father's girlfriend's a teacher and she does that. Like if somebody's bothering someone, say, you, you know, sorry, my phone's acting up. Sorry. My father's making sure I'm okay. I, I, I'll text him later. My father, my, I'll text my father later. 
I should actually send him, send him pictures of my food so I can uh, make him hungry. Because we do that back and forth sometimes. Or I could send it to my sister and then she'd be here like in the next two minutes knocking on my door. <laughs> asking for food. If she's not working. And my sister and I have that, that, that kind of a food humor with each other. So, where was it? So in fifth grade was one of the worst years of my elementary years. Not the worst years of my life, my elementary years. Every kid in the class, and I'm, I'm not being dramatic, nobody wanted to hang out with me. Every new kid I got, every new kid that came into our class, I would talk to them and be nice to them and like, welcome them to the class. But then I turned my back and the other kids would be talking crap about me. Also, that was back then when silly bands were cool. <laughs> I have to say that. Silly bands were cool back then. I used to have a crap ton of silly bands. I used to, I, I still don't know what happened to my silly bands. I think my mom threw them out a long time ago. Yeah, silly bands were really cool. Do they still sell silly bands? I might do a video of how I dressed in, you know, when I was a kid and stuff. That might be funny, because I wore silly bands up my wrist a lot. And silly bands were banned from my school because everybody was trying to trade them. And then you'd be like, no, I don't want to trade this one. This one's my favorite. But they'd be like, I want it. And then they would be like, you're not sharing or something. So the silly bands were banned from my school. But silly bands were cool back then. My sister also knew how to re repair broken silly bands. You'd pretty much just melt it. You melt it back together over a candle. It's easy. Yes, the smell of burning rubber will kill your lungs, so be careful on that. But I did, I did know how to repair silly bands. Uh, silly bands were the best things. I'm gonna go see if they sell silly bands now. Actually, probably gonna go look online to see if they sell silly bands again. So I might, I might buy them and start my collection again. I had a lot of rare ones, and the rare ones were mostly the glitter and tie-dye ones until they sold those in their own packages. The rare, the rarest ones were the metallic ones because they never sold those in packages. They also sold them in mystery boxes at one point to where you can get rare ones. They were awesome. Anyway, I'm getting so off topic with silly bands. This is how bad I am if I don't write stuff down, but... I was debating on doing this today or not. I literally just pulled out the camera and wanted to talk. I was going to talk about what happened at the store today when I was going food shopping, but that would not make a whole video. That would just make like a three minute thing of just me ranting over how stupid a lady is in the store. <laughs> how stupid people are. This quarantine crap is making everybody go crazy. I had to start buying cookies on sale. I actually, I'm so, they're out of flour. I need flour to make cookies. So I had to buy store-bought cookies, which I don't mind. But I love making regular cookies. I should have bought pre-made cookie dough because there was something I want. Nah, um, I, there, there's some TikTok hacks I want to make in the future. I've been kind of iffing on it. Like there's some TikTok food hacks or like cool recipes. Cause I'm a foodie, I like food, but they are getting copyrighted. Like there's no tomorrow. So I'm debating on doing it or not. If you guys want me to do it, let me know. I do not mind you guys suggesting this stuff. Um. Okay, back on topic, back on topic. Back on topic, where was I? Oh yeah, silly bands. They were cool. <laughs> So, yeah, the teacher wasn't the best. We're at fifth grade. We're at a half an hour of footage. I'm trying not to go too far into an hour, but I do want to talk about some other stuff, some little things that, see, I can go through my middle, my elementary school life like, no, like that. I just finished elementary school. So, my mother, this was the thing, this was the reason why my mother took me from the little tiny elementary school that could go to middle school to the public middle school. 
the principal there was an interesting character. Now this principal was only there until the last quarter of the year. So they were scrounging, you know, they were going all over the place trying to find a new principal. So what they had were substitute principals, which would be an administration, administra an administration person. Sorry, I, because this is real. This upset me the most. Besides the bullying and the teachers and all that, this one got me. This is getting me nowadays. Back then, this didn't bother me because I was little. You know, I didn't really know that much. This is bothering me now. So for the last three and a half months I'm approximately I don't know exactly how much a quarter of a year is for school now but back then it was about three to three and a half months we had substitute principals which was meant pretty much you would go to an administration uh, uh, the administration and ask for the principal and it would be either the front desk lady or one of the teachers that was because like I said we had extra teachers so it didn't bother us I one time needed to go to the principal to talk with um, about this bullying that's going on, and this got really bad to where I I actually I I almost thought I broke my fingers. We had these metal chairs. Now, in this school was a very low budget school, so we got like mix match crap. Like it was really it was a very low budget school. There, it was really hard to get a lot of, you know, different sports teams. There was, it was really even harder to even get a, um, to get, oh shoot, what was a, the PE teacher was trying the hardest to get a group sports team, and I forgot which one it was, but she couldn't do it because of the school's low budget. So we had mixed match chairs. Now we had these chairs that weren't really classroom chairs they were they had cushions on them but they had metal borders on them so um I was sitting and I was holding the ends of the I was sitting with my hands over the ends of the chair kind of like this but you know on the chair and one of the bully kids we were in between a chair you know there was me empty chair bully kid now my hands again were like this and this is the hand that actually got hurt because I because he was on that he was on my left side. So I'm gonna show it with this hand. Now I scooted the chair away from me because I was trying to get out of the chair. And it was it was really cramped, it was really hard to get out. So I had my hand like this, you know, sitting. It was, it's hard to do it without, you know, and then my whole arm it, it's hard to do it without like showing you with how I'm sitting. But just say I have my hand like this, my arm was up, you know. This is the metal part of the other chair. He slammed it into my knuckles right here. These part, like literally it was, I screamed so loud. The first thing I did, because I didn't want to tell the teacher, can I go to this, can I go to the nurse? I ran out of the classroom to the nurse, but I didn't go to the nurse. I went straight to the administration building because we weren't allowed to go to the cafeteria to be able to get an ice pack without getting a note from the office. So I went to the office and said, my hand is hurting and it was red and swollen. And they're like, did you get a note from your teacher? And I'm like, no. So then I started asking for the principal and the substitute principal was the, la the front desk lady happened to be. So she was, she, that front desk lady was super rude by the way. She kept saying, I'm just, you know, I'm filling in right now for the principal while she's out. We had, we finally did get a substitute principal permanently for the rest of the year. So I'm like, do you not, like I kept crying because I was in pain. Back then I cried a lot because I was emotional. My hand was swollen, my fingers were swollen and she wouldn't let me get a damn ice pack. So I went home in pain. My mother didn't get home till like a couple hours after I did. I was, my brother happened to be home because he, he got home before us. And my sister, of course, was in the school with me. She was trying to figure out what my what was wrong with my hand. So I told her that the kid 
slammed one of those metal chairs, and she knew which chairs I was talking about because she had them too at one point, slammed the chair into my hand. And she was like, how? So I was trying to show her that I was sitting and I, was, I had my hands on the chair and my fingers were dangling off the chair. So she was taking photos of my hand with her phone. Because she had a phone, but it wasn't, you know, it was a flip phone. It didn't bother me. She was taking the photos because if, it, if the swelling went down by the time my mother cut, got there, she could be like, this was earlier today. You know, a flip phone's like literally only like this big, guys. So that's why I'm doing a tiny hand. Like she could say, this is what happened. This is what it looked like a couple hours ago. My mother did see the photos. It was... That's one of the reasons why I left. Because this one kid that's been in my class for, since the third grade would not bully me, would continue to bully me. And I remember my step-grandmother becoming a substitute there and then she went to being a full-time teacher there. And when she was a, still a substitute, and I was in the regular middle school, this is just a side story. I remember her calling me and we, and then go over there, my grandparents' house and talking to her. And she kept saying, oh, by the way, he misses you. The bully kid misses me. My mom, you know, goes, he misses bullying her. That's what he says. That's pretty much what he meant. And I agree. He probably missed bullying me. And I know what you're all going to say is like, if you ignore it, you know, they won't stop. They, they'll stop if you ignore it. That is complete bull crap. I am not going to lie. That is a complete bull crap move. Because I would ignore it. And I'd ignore it for days. I would probably be like doodling or writing. But they wouldn't stop. They'd continue for weeks. And I'd ignore it. I walk away, but they never stopped. So that is a bullcrap move. If you do hear this from a therapist, double think, double check yourself, and think: Is it a bully? Is it a bully that's been bullying me for a few years, or is it just a bully that just started? Because if it's a bully that kind of just started, maybe about like a couple, a couple days or a week ago, they'll stop. But if it's a bully that's been bullying you for three years, three years, they will not stop. From third grade to fifth grade. Now that doesn't look like, you know, Kai, three plus five, three minus five is two. The starting of third grade, he was a nice guy until like it went to a month into the school because like I said, we had the same group of kids every single year. It was one of those types of classes, the club schools. So a lot of the kids that knew me from second grade would talk to the new kids and tell them bad crap about me. So I really kind of had no one. I had one other friend. And him and I have been friends for 15 years. And I also have that other friend I've known for 15 years. And then I have Shy, who I have known for not, I think this is our 10th year. Don't worry, I'll get into that story. That's in sixth grade. Best day ever. I'm probably gonna text Shy and tell her to watch this video. And just be like, hey, just kind of go towards the end of the video where I say it's the best day ever. When I, when I say best day ever. Cause ever since Cheyenne and I became friends, yes, ups and downs, friendships happen. We hated each other, we loved each other, and now we love each other too much. But you can never love someone too much. She's family pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I've only went from what, how old I am, because I've known her since I was 11, and I was turning 12 that year. So, yeah. Well, the battery's dying, so let me go charge this battery, and I'll get to the outro. Bye! I'm back. This is going to be a quick outro. reason is, this battery's also not charged, but it's charged a little more than the other one. The other one had like three minutes left. This one has 52. Now, because my camera is old, the 52 is more like 15 to 20 minutes worth of audio. Especially if you're recording while the battery's going, because then the, I'm trying not to get off track, but I'm just saying, it's gonna die real fast. So, updates. Now, updates. I am gonna be streaming streaming like streaming my games um sorry my nose is still itchy 
YouTube, for some reason, does not accept my streams. I've actually tried it multiple times. And the reason I say they don't accept it is because I would go to my channel to make sure it went through. And, I would, and I'd be like live right then. And it wouldn't accept my stream. Like it wouldn't show up on my channel. So then I ended it and see if it would show up for, you know, five minutes. No. So... Well, YouTube sorts that crap out. I already let them know. I told them, hey, I'm having a problem with my streaming. You're not, sh I'm streaming like live and then I'm not, but I'm not showing up on my channel. So they emailed me and they said, it's a problem we're having with the streaming platform. It's not, it's not just you. It's, it's a lot of people are having problems. So I don't, so I'm glad I don't feel bad. So I'm streaming on Twitch. T-W-I-T-C-H. It's the first link in the description. I label all my links, by the way. So it's Twitch TV, wait, twitch.tv slash Kai underscore Dragonstone. I am, well, bird, I only have like 20 minutes, man. <sighs> bird. So, yeah, it's already 46 minutes and I was started this at 52 and we're only two minutes into recording. That's how bad the batteries are. Hey, get a new one. Or, this is my new one, actually. This is my new battery I just got last year for my birthday. So, it's the camera itself. I can just say that. Um, so, I am going to be streaming Wizard 101 videos only. The reason is, is can you really stream an MSP? Yeah, a lot of people can do that, but it's like... I have no interest in streaming Movie Star Planet. Yes, I will. You will be seeing some Movie Star Planet videos very scarcely, though. Probably like once or twice a month. Mostly, it's going to start in the summer um, because I will be doing a lot of giveaways and stuff for this channel, meaning but on MSP. So you'll be seeing mostly Wizard 101 streams. Now, if you're a Wizard 101 fan, good. So when are the streams, Kai? Good question. Because these are frequently, these are going to be frequently asked questions. The stream. I am giving you the most attention possible this morning. Oh my God. I'm about to put your towel over your cage so you could shut up. The streaming will be on Sundays. Not every Sunday. This Sunday I am busy. Last Sunday was my father's birthday. I'm trying to do this every other Sunday. So hopefully next Sunday, I will stream. Now, the timing will be different every time because sometimes, some Sundays, I go over to my father's house and I help him for a few hours and then I come back here. So it will vary by what I'm doing that day, but it will definitely be a Sunday. It's gonna be no other day of the week besides Sunday. I will let a notification go on my channel. Like I'll make like a really, like a three set. I've seen some people do this. Um, a lot of use Wizard 101 streamers I know that also make YouTube videos. They will do like a four second video with a thumbnail saying live on whatever. And then it'll, you know, have, it'll just be a thumbnail and only be like a three second video. And it's, to, and the, you know, and then the title of the video is live on Twitch. And then it'd be whatever game they're playing. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. It's only gonna be a, one photo, probably of just whatever I can pick up. And it's just gonna say live on Twitch, Wizard 101. I will stream some Minecraft videos cause I actually have been getting the Xbox ready for all this, but I can't until I get a headset with a mic. It's not gonna be able to record my voice. And I think you guys kinda wanna hear me when I talk. So, ow, my back's killing me. So yeah. I will be streaming on Sundays. Uh, please, like I said, not every Sunday. You don't have to have an account to watch me. You can watch me with no account at all, but I will let, I don't mind getting followers. I do know that Twitch is kind of bad when it comes to their followers, like their money grabbers or something. I have no idea. I'm only hearing rumors. So I am looking for another streaming platform. I already have the streaming software all set up on my computer. It works fine. I did like, I think I did like, two streams already one testing with a friend and just saying hey can you see it on my twitch can you watch it for me and he said yes you, we could see it and stuff so i was like okay good so that was that that was actually the only thing i that was 
that was the great part. The other, um, so then the second stream was actually me playing and letting everybody know. So do, first link in the description is my streaming, is my, is my Twitch channel. Please do follow it or watch when I'm on Sundays. I will let you guys know when I'm streaming. Like I said, it's not probably going to be like a four second video, but it's just mainly to show you that I'm on Twitch and I'm live. It'll probably be like the second I go live. Probably what I might end up doing is getting everything ready and then uploading that video, like that little four second clip. Because that had, recently YouTube's been lagging a lot on this computer. It's the old computer. I am getting a new one. I am getting a new one possibly next month. I finally have saved up enough money to get a computer. I'll also probably be getting a better editing software. Look out for that. The videos might be a little more clear. They might be a little more, a little better edited. I am still going with the basic editor that I know besides Movie Maker. But yes, that, that's what I'm, that's all I'm letting you know. The next update is I have a Discord channel or a server, I should say. It's more towards in the bottom of the description box. It's like kind of more towards, you know, where my bunches of links are with all my social medias. Please follow me on social media. Sorry, shameless plug in. But yes, please follow my Discord. Please join my Discord server if you can. I know a lot of people don't have Discord, but if you do, you Discord server members get the, get the first access to giveaways. When it comes to MSP, I will be getting a lot of stuff for giveaways. I will put in more detail in a totally different video later, but Discord members get access to the giveaways first. I will think about buying, doing Wizard 101 giveaways, but mostly the people that are in it are Wizard 101 people, but I'm just saying. You will get first access to the giveaways and when, I upload, when I'm uploading a video. You will get, you will get, first, you will get um, notified first if I ever do anything on my channel, okay? Because normally I'm pretty active in there and I'd be like, uploading a video now. Oh, I'm editing the video. It's going to be ready in about probably an hour. And then it takes like three hours to edit. I mean, three hours to uh, upload because the computer likes to learn. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Also, it's really fun in there. Um, we're doing questions of the week. So every Sunday we do a question, whatever question comes on our mind. Wednesdays we do riddles where you get to answer a riddle. And if you get the riddle, if you get the riddle right, you get a shout out on my next video, which I'm trying to find an upload schedule, guys. It probably won't be uploaded until Saturday. Depending on some of the videos, I know the Minecraft, um, the Minecraft Dragoncraft series will not be uploaded on Saturdays. That is only because of the editing. During the week, the, the uh, maintenance have been here. You know, the apartment complex is open during the week. On weekends, they're closed. So the maintenance are working a lot. They're really working in my area, like my building. Just recently, they were working on the apartment and making so much noise to where I couldn't do my voiceovers. So, I've been kind of slacking on that because of those reasons. <coughs> <coughs> my throat's getting really dry again. Can I open this Gatorade without cutting my fingers? Answer is yes. Recently, I've been accidentally cutting my fingers on these little rings of from bottles on accident. I haven't had Gatorade in so long. I used to buy it all the time when I was shopping. Why did I stop buying Gatorade? Eh. Okay. Eh. I'm trying to think of one other thing I want to say. Oh yes, there is another Discord server. I will be putting it in the link in the description box when I make Wizard 101 videos only. It is specific to Wizard 101 only. That's why. If you are an MSP player or you don't play Wizard 101, you can join it. And I don't want to say anything bad about it, but you kind of will get bored because it's specifically tailored to one game and it's Wizard 101. If you say did play Wizard 101 or you're in the process of getting a computer to play it again, you're more than welcome to join. The people there are super nice. That's where how I met my friend Josh. Joshy. Oh, by the way, Joshy does get a shout out because he got the riddle right last time. Forgot what the thing was the, oh. The riddle's answer was there are no stairs. It was a one-story house has rooms full of yellow, yellow floors, yellow walls, yellow um, countertops and all that. It's like, what's colors of the stairs? And it's like, it's only, it's a one-story house. 
because there, so there's no stairs. So there you go. I also will be uploading some Sim videos. I do have The Sims 4. It's just right now The Sims is not working on the computer very well. It's like, it's glitchy right now. So I'm thinking if I get the new computer, it'll run a little better. I am getting a new Xbox 360. Like I'm trading that one in for another one because the, the Xbox 360 works. It just doesn't read any disc. It doesn't read any of the games. It doesn't read a DVD. It doesn't read anything, but I can still access the internet. It can still turn on and it works perfectly fine. It just doesn't read anything. So I'm gonna trade it in for another 360. So you, you know, I still will have a 360 because there is a game I got for my 360 that I want to kind of put on. Do I still have it? Yes, I do. There is a game that some friends like. And I think you guys would too. I also got a Wii, guys. So I am probably going to put up some Wii games. I got some ones that are really going to kill me or whatever. So, yeah. I am in the process of getting a Switch that is the next console on my list. Everybody's blabbering about the Animal Crossing game and I've been seeing people play it. I'm like, I want it so badly. Here's a little secret. I had the very first Animal Crossing game that ever came out. For the GameCube. You wanna know what happened to it? I don't know. And I wanted to rebuy it. But now the new Animal Crossing game came out. The game's $50. Now, that's not a problem. $50 isn't that much cut. Yeah, it is. Because you're looking for a case and the game. They don't sell it on Walmart anymore. They don't make GameCube games anymore. They haven't made GameCube games since 2000, like, whenever the Wii came out. 2008? I mean, they still kind of made GameCube games, but they were, like, getting scares, more scarce. They just stopped making GameCube games, I think, by, like, 2008. Because that's when uh, one of the other games came out that I still have. So, yeah. So that's happening. So I've been, the Switch is the next thing on my list. It's like $500 right now, so that's definitely gonna be the next thing on my list. Probably what I end up doing because my birthday is in a couple of months. And Christmas is also in like, I know. Kai, it's April, your birthday's not till September. At the rate that this is going, the time going so fast, it'll be my birthday fast. It's soon. This year has gone by so fast. I still think it's still February half the time. Where has the time gone? Some days have gone really slow though, like today. It's only 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why is this day going by so slow? Don't ask. <laughs> that, that, that's it. I barely get sick. The only like sick feeling I have is allergies just draining my body. Draining all the energy out of me like they're doing right now. Oh my God. I feel like crap only because of my allergies. Oh, allergies, why do you have to do this to me? Why do you have to betray me? Well, that was a great outro. A little longer than I expected. This video is definitely going to be a little less than an hour long. I might cut out some parts just to make it less boring. I was going to swap to my room and wanted to like, you know, scene change, but because the batteries were dying so fast, I, I couldn't do it. I am wanting to get another camera and use this as like my secondary camera for when I want to film behind the scenes. Like, you know, have raw content where you guys will pretty much get behind the scenes of the videos. Like me prepping the stuff for the videos. And then you get the real stuff on my channel. And in my vlog channel, I am not promoting it 100% yet because I still am waiting for, I'm getting a second camera. I'm That's another thing I'm getting in the future because I'm gonna use that second camera for my main stuff. And then this camera will definitely be for the vlogging because it is a great vlog camcorder. It's actually a video camera, camcorder, whatever you want to call it. 
but I want it because this battery dies a lot faster. It's because how old the camera is. So I want to be able to only use this for behind the scenes footage because the behind the scenes footage will definitely be edited a lot, but it will show a little more raw content. Like bloopers, how I prep the video, how I prep the scenes to make the videos, um, what food I eat before I make the videos. <laughs> yeah, so battery's at five minutes. Ugh. That means I only got like two seconds. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Ooh, my camera's hot. Ooh. Oh, there, there's my hand. There's my hand. Right on top of the screen. There's my arm. Here's my arm, guys. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm being a stupid butt. All right. Um. See you guys in the next video, and please join the Human Squad Discord server. And every subscriber is a human, part of the squad. And I am the dragon who doesn't shut up. The bird's worse than me. I'm just going to tell you that. And he's been very quiet. I think because he's eating. That normally shuts him up. Love you, burb. Bye.